looks like a tie game here. My turn to ask a question. Oh, and it's an easy one. Name at least three Stephen Harper appointees that are either in jail, on trial, or awaiting trial on charges. One point for each correct answer, and there's plenty. Well, the first one's pretty obvious, right? It's Mike Duffy with 31 charges, including breach of trust and fraud. I'm gonna take a point for that one. For that answer, she should only get a half a point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, unless, of course, she's prepared to write a check for 90 grand. <laughs> well, in which case, she should get 10 points. <laughs> and two years in jail. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got the next one. How about Dean Del Mastro, Harper's former parliamentary secretary? He got a month in jail for exceeding allowable election expenses and four months house arrest for submitting a false document. I'll take a point for that. <laughs> Stephen Harper sure knows how to pick him. Do you think he's fit to lead? <laughs> well, how about that Senator, Patrick Brazo, uh, charged with fraud and breach of trust, plus, wait for it, charges of assault, sexual assault, uh, uttering death threats, cocaine possession, and a breach of bail for good measure. I think I get two points for that one. <laughs> Definitely worth two points. <laughs> D, when Stephen Harper talks about being tough on crime, do you think he had his own government in mind? <laughs> He's, he started his own crime wave. <laughs> the New York Times describes Stephen Harper's 12 years in office as one of the most scandal-plagued administrations in Canadian history. Stephen Harper, he's just not fit to lead.